2022, it doesn't actually matter if they're female or if they just say they're female. That is every single hospital in the country bar four NHS trusts. So that's why we meet, because the opposition are violent, aggressive men. With a few gaslit Stockholm Syndrome young women who have no idea what it really means to be because they're still about 22. It comes to us all, right? This, this crazy thing that we call youth, it soon disappears. And then we're left with what? Just being women. I don't want men with guns in women's toilets. What a stupid thing to say. I said I want... <laughs> I said I want traditional men who live in America to pretend to use women's toilets at their children's school so that everybody can see the absurdity of what is going on. I've got a dodgy microphone. Uh, trans rights are human rights. Well, I don't know what trans means, but it doesn't mean a lot to me today or any day. Um, at all, because as far as I'm concerned, there is no such thing as trans. Right, so we do the speaker's corner, not so I can speak and mock uh, the afflicted, um, but so that all of you, if, you're, if you want to, if you're feeling suffocated by silence in your own life, or you simply just want to tell everybody how you feel about this ridiculous notion that women have penises, that men can have vaginas, that women are no longer women, but we're birthing people, menstruators, uh, pregnant, <laughs> pregnant people and chest feeders. If you want to resume and take our language back, this is what this event is for. Uh, you take the microphone, keep it short if you can, that would be great. Um, but the microphone is yours. This is a free speech event in a country that's supposed to be free, that for many women doesn't feel particularly free anymore. Um, and it's also for Maria uh, to come uh, because it was how many years ago? Five. Nearly five years ago that Maria was uh, attacked at Speaker's Corner by a hulking great big bloke who Maria then had to refer to by his preferred pronouns in a trial against his male violence. So I guess it would be fitting to give you the microphone first. voices. I did not come to hear a bunch of middle class, overprivileged, entitled brats trying to plan us out. I mean, what are they afraid of? They should be at home doing their homework. I do not think gender studies, because gender studies just giving a piece of toilet paper instead of an essay, because there's no difference. Now, back in the winter, I stood at the reformers tree in Hyde Park, and I was very privileged to read out the words of a woman of my generation. She was in her 60s, and one line that she said stuck out in my mind. She still had all her faculties intact. She could still be working. Amazing, given how old she was. But what she said was, the young women that I work with think I'm too old to change my mind. And I'd like to say to those young women and every young person who thinks like that, we are never too old to change our mind. But having had many decades more life experience, it's gonna take more than shouting facile slogans. You need to make the case for why you will be all right 
seeing your young daughters one day having to share changing rooms with adult men. You need to argue why it's okay for your young daughters to be deprived of their rightful places in their sports teams, maybe in their medals tables. Here, here. And you need to explain why you think it's okay to put children who are too young to even choose their GCSE subjects on a path of risky medication which in spite of what the groomers on YouTube and some unscrupulous professionals will tell you, they are not reversible and neither are the surgeries. Right, now, since I started my YouTube channel a couple of years ago, by far the most common form of trolling that I've had from the gender cult has been about my age. And I've had hundreds, and here are just a few of them. I apologize in advance for the language in some of these. Being an old British lady is a mental disorder. All you ugly old turfs are just jealous of us hot young trans women. Straight face. Nobody would touch any of you with a barge pole. You have nothing to do with your sad, depressing life as a 50 year old woman. Flatterer. Congratulations for being an ignorant whore. There is no point in trying to argue with a 90 year old who can't comprehend basic science. You talk shit about trans women at your prehistoric age. We will live and try better than you will. And looks like Granny forgot her meds. To be fair, he's probably right. I love, I love this one. The hag's heart will probably decay before it softens like my arse off. I think that one's from Shakespeare. That brings me to that branch of the gender cult who's given up trying to bully and intimidate women into silence and are instead celebrating our impending deaths. It brings me great joy that you won't be on this earth too much longer. Thank the Lord! But I love the Christian charity in that one. What exactly is progressive about this cult that perpetuates the same old crap that has been flung at women since the dawn of time. Once we're no longer young and newborn, new bar, we have we are useless and we have to get on with our knitting until it's time to snuff it. And to be fair, I have seen a lot of older men getting a group once we're speaking up about this. But not once have I seen their age. Such a big thing, I'll go see, go.